Okay, welcome to Scripting for Administration, Automation, and Security. We're talking about Lab 9. This is our SQL injection with Python. I'd like to review some uh, tips and techniques to, to, for you to be successful in your lab. Uh, of course, with any uh, Python script, always start with your uh, shebang and where your Python executable lives. Uh, for this lab, because we're going to be using uh, a SQL database, it's very easy just to use SQLite 3. Here I'm setting a couple different uh, variables. One is just your database path for your local um, files to be stored where you're going to read and write to. Um, your database file name. I always like to set a debug statement. Uh, that way we can turn on, say, if debug equals true, then do something like print out extra information. I just find this a very convenient way to um, debug your script. Uh, here you have uh, just creating the database connection using your SQL like connect. Um, and then we set up a cursor, which is our connection cursor is just where it's at. Uh, I've set a debug here that, that prints out if it's successfully been opened. Here you can see I've, I've set up a couple predefined SQL statements for testing. Uh, we're using the wireless database and uh, what we're doing here, just, just for an example, is we're going to be selecting um, wireless manufacturer uh, the average of the altitude from different readings and how many were at uh, or how many for each of those manufacturers. So this is a medium database that contains a lot of um, real world readings for wireless uh, that was collected. So what you might end up with are things like Cisco, Linksys, Apple, Belkin, um, the average altitude of each of those wireless devices and how many total for each of the manufacturers. Uh, so you can see here, here's just a couple different examples. An another way is to get um, your SQL command uh, directly from your script rather than predefining it. Um, but you can see here I've also commented this out. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using uh, an SQL command where we're asking, the script is going to be asking the user to input the manufacturer that they want to query the database for. So you can see here we're setting manufacturer equal to the raw input from the standard in, uh, enter the wireless manufacturer to query. Then our command is going to say we want to select from the database the manufacturer, the average of the altitude, and the total number uh, of those manufacturers from the wireless database, or though I should say the wireless table, where the manufacturer equals that variable, and then we'll group it by the manufacturer. Um, I've set a debug statement here, which is nice, saying the SQL command to be executed is, and will actually print out on the screen the actual SQL command uh, that is going to be interpreted by the SQL database. Um, if you uh, wanted to execute that SQL command is just a single command, you'd just say um, cursor execute that SQL command. Uh, but what I want to do here is I want to execute the command and put the output into my result. So I'm saying results equals cursor execute that SQL command. You could display the raw results by just saying um, print that cursor fetch all. What I, what I like to do is for every row in those results, um, you could print the raw row or you can print the individual items, items zero, one, and two, which are again, the manufacturer, the average altitude and the count. Uh, of course, once you're done working with the database, you want to close the database. Uh, that is the script that will allow you to um, start entering different variables into, and let's go ahead and go back to it. Um, here's where you're going to be entering different variables 
into the script under the manufacturer, and you'll be testing out different syntax for uh, creating an SQL injection where you're going to be trying to override the, the data that is in that SQL command or the data, I should say, that that SQL command will produce by querying the database.